All right, guys. So following up on that kind of long and detailed video that I did going into like Leonardo and how he works and stuff like that, it's really now time to follow up on it with Michelangelo. Now you've seen Michelangelo in that video, but Michelangelo was purely there to enable some additional stuff for Leonardo, okay? This time we're going to try the reverse, okay? And I have managed to get a little bit more um, fighting spirit investment into him, but not enough to like see him at full potential, okay? Still, we can see how he does against the boss, okay? So we're going here, we'll have a look at our boy, Michelangelo. So, exact same thing, skills, passive, cars, kit, done. So let's start off by taking a look at his passive. This is what I do with most fighters when I look at them. So his passive is breakdance. If this fighter has at least 25 breakdances when taking fatal damage, expend 25 stacks to resist that instance of damage and recover 25% max HP. So it's a bit like Sagat's revival thing, right? Trigger interval 2 seconds. When deployed in the starting team, increase the defense and dodge of all other friendly mutant ninja turtles by 15% until the end of battle. Upon getting hit by a boss enemy, gain an additional 1 breakdance. Upon expending 25 breakdance to resist the fatal damage, recover 35 HP. Upon expending 25 breakdance to resist fatal damage, gain damage immunity for 2 seconds, right? I've got the cold. You might not be able to tell, but... I, can, I think I'm going to lose my voice in the next day or so, I can just feel it. So, that's what that breakdance does, right? It allows people to stay alive. Um, it tells you down here, each stack increases defense and dodge by 1%. Michelangelo can expend the stacks to resist fatal damage, right? It specifically says Michelangelo can expend stacks. So, when starting the super combo, swing the nunchuck to strike enemies in an area 5 times, with each strike dealing damage equal to 87% of attack, then deliver a palm strike and move backwards, dealing damage equal to 113% of attack to enemies in an area. After moving backwards, gain 30% damage reduction for 8 seconds. After moving backwards 40%, also increase the damage reduction of friendly Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by 20% for 8 seconds. So again, I mentioned this in the last video. It's quite clear that when they're all out, these four units are going to go together like peanut butter and jelly. I don't even like peanut butter and jelly, but I know it's the same. Combo 1, Corkscrew Kick. Spin and strike an enemy three times, dealing damage equal to 310% of attack in total. Then kick the target, dealing damage equal to 114% of attack and reducing the target's damage reduction by 15% for 12 seconds. So, I mean, if you've put him hmm. try that combo um, with Leonardo starting the comp super damage reduction him doing the C1 more damage reduction hmm. that would you be matching Honda although you're using two units but still so we'll see, we'll see how that goes in the combo right and combo 2 Kick an enemy 7 times, dealing damage equal to 677% of attack in total. The final strike reduces the target's damage reduction by 15% for 12 seconds. Okay, we were doing that and then. We were already doing that, right? Final strike, 20%. Damage, 778 of attack. Okay. So, it does actually look like the combo I was running was probably the best combo. But we want to see what his C1 and his combo do, right? His combo and his C2. Okay, so... Garage. I don't have these though, right? Upon getting hit, gain an additional breakdance. Each stack of brain breakdance conditionally, additionally increases super combo and trigger skill damage by 1%. Upon attacking, gain an additional 1% breakdance. Each stack of breakdance conditionally increases combo damage by 1%. Okay, so that's that's good as well. It's very good. Soul power. Increases damage to 375 and 174. Increased damage to 817%. Okay. Both very good. Now the important part. He's going to have one of these skills as well. I, I know he is. When he's in the break assist position, grant them break dance, stacks up to 15 times. If it's a turtle, up to 30 times. If Leonardo is assisting this fighter, Shell Pincer, unleash a skill after unleashing any combo with Leonardo Pincer with Leonardo pincer enemies with a shell attack dealing damage equal to 322% of attack to enemies in an area then gain 40% damage reduction for 8 seconds after unleashing the skill gain 4 breakdance that's good 
Upon attacking or getting a hit, there's a 30% chance to grant one breakdance to a random friendly fighter and a 30% chance to grant it to all addition other turtles. Upon entering on the battle, gain 15, that's at level 20, and at level 30, upon attacking or getting a hit, there's a 60% chance to grant one breakdance to a random fighter and a 60% chance to grant it to all other turtles. Okay, so I've now improved him a bit. He was only at 5 when I was testing out Leonardo. He's now at 15. So obviously still not fantastic, right? But we'll be able to see a little bit better how they pair up, okay? I'm going to do... <sighs> Am I going to do what I did the last time? I don't really see the point, because I don't see this guy as a damage unit. I see this guy as more of a, a surviving quasi... I mean, I don't even know if I can call... In the trial, he was giving people shields. That's the weird thing. I don't see where that would be happening. Increase the damage reduction of all friendly turtles. That's going to help people. But it's, it's turtles it's going to help. This one. There's nothing about shields or anything. So the only thing that could be helping with the survivability would be... these stacks of breakdance. Hmm. Well, let's see how he does. Um, he's definitely tanky, I'll tell you that much. We'll go here. We'll go to here. And, again, I've not put investment into the workbench. So, really, it's quite hard to judge this, but we'll give it a shot, right? Let's throw you up here. Okay, let's throw, I don't know, you on here. I'm just going to be doing a C3. I just really want to see this little, um, this little trigger skill. So we will move that up. Let's see the trigger skill. I'm not even going for a score on this one. I just want to see his trigger skill. So there's Leo, Mikey attacking, he's jumping back, what happened there, I maybe messed that up, and my phone died, I ran out of battery, right, I'll be back. So we're back after getting a bit of battery power, like 35%, so I need to batter through these videos, and um, we're going to have a look now just to see this animation in effect, that's all I really want to see with this guy just now, right, because at the end of the day, <coughs> I'm not really looking at what this guy does in regards to his survivability, um, his damage output. I just want to see what happens when this Lena. Oh, there he's there! Oh, the other jumped in. That was pretty short. I think he might have missed, <laughs> to be completely honest. Because Balrog moved. Oh, Lena died. He, ju he jumps back and he hits him with his shell. Right, so he jumped back and he hits him with his shell. I guess that's interesting. <laughs> it's cool because they don't usually do units like that, so these team-up moves are pretty good. But, let's just do a run now. So, oh, what are we going to do here? We're going to use... I'm going to take you off. I'm going to put you off. We'll put you back on here. I'll just throw something random up top. And we will put you back on to here. Okay. So, more or less here, right? We're only going to use Leonardo's C3, right? I just want to really see, like, how's the survivability? Do we need to use the EX move? And that type of stuff. I'm just going to do one one. Right, one run. I won't use the EX move. We'll just see how they get on, right? Again, Donnie here, he's got a lot going for him against bosses. But I don't have the fighting spirit investment into him. I don't have the cars. I don't have the things that's going to make him excel versus a boss, okay? So, I don't really know how much we can glean from this. 
But we'll see, because he has got things in his kit where he's going to give people breakdance. I mean, you can see there just now that Leonardo's got multiple breakdances, right? So let's pop this and let's just go. Right? I'm, I'm not actually going to use that. I used the wrong starting skill there. That was my bad, right? I meant to use this one. Okay, we're just going to use his start and his thingy. And this time, you know what, I'll mix it up. We'll use his C1. Throw that in there for a little bit of difference. Then we'll use his super. Pop. You'll notice I've not used any... I've not used the EX skill. I mean, maybe I don't have to because we're not doing as much damage. But, like, if survivability is getting to do with... Mikey... Then he might be doing something, because... Last time when I was doing it differently and using Leonardo as a DPS... We did not get to survive like that. We did not get to survive like that. So I'm just going to skip this, right? Because we're not doing a damage comparison here. Now, not built. We survived that fight. Okay. Again, I don't know how hard that is to survive against Balrog right now because I've not done it that many times. So, let's just see what was what. What did we get from that? Stats. <laughs> Leonardo still did good damage there as well, considering he was hardly really doing his attacks. Because, I mean, he only used the super twice. Didn't really want to use the super at all. That all came from, essentially, Mikey and... Well, he's an assist... Um, Rose assisting him. This time I'll try not to forget, right? I'll try not to forget. Let's just see what would happen if I take you off and put you on top of uh, this guy. We'll see what difference this one makes, right? So this time I'm trying. I'm going to try to not forget, and I'm only going to use Mikey's super Rose, Mikey, Leo. So that's going to be the whole way. I'm going to try and do that. I'm not going to pop the Virgil EX at all. The Virgil EX will not be popped, okay? Okay, so let's go for it. Let's see what we get. Now I'm going to assume that we're building up stacks of that breakdance thing. Obviously can't see the screen. Well, I mean, I can see the screen, but... I'm not looking at the icons above their heads, is what I mean. Okay. So again, I'm literally just using Mikey, hopefully, to survive. We should be getting passive stacks of both the breakdance and that sword powery doda, whatever it's called. Forget the name of it. Saber slice or something. Well, when I only used Michelangelo for the start and the super, we retained full health all the way. The last one we lost someone when I didn't use only his super and his C3. So, uh, I don't want to make a statement that I can't back up right now, which I can't do because I don't have him fully built. But if that's what he's doing, not fully built, then I want to hazard the guess to say that he is going to be extremely good for survivability and bossing. Definitely. I I can't see a situation where he's not. I mean, considering specifically for bossing, he has bits of his kit that specifically say when a boss. So he's got things in his kit that are specifically geared towards bossing. And you can see here that even there, that's nearly 300 million damage. And again, I know that might not sound like a lot, but if you compare that to here, I mean, yes, that was auto, right? He still got five and five attacks, right? He gets six attacks, but he didn't do a super. He was only doing the C3, right? So look, make a comparison again. He's doing the super and the C3, okay? Here, he is doing just the C3. And it's all coming from the support he's getting from Mikey. And Mikey's not even fully built yet. Yeah, 
I, I think all these turtles are going to be good. I think they've basically made a a Megazord, Power Rangers Megazord, where when all the pieces fit together, they are going to be awesome. But even just as they are just now, I already think we're looking at fantastic units. Michelangelo looks really tanky, really good for survivability. It seems very similar to Fashion Ryu, to be honest. Um, I think that Leonardo looks like a unit who... I need to try him in PvP to say this for definite, but he definitely looks like a... At least on bossing anyway, he looks like he could be better than Vega for bossing. Will that translate to PvP? Possibly. Possibly. Um, but all in, I don't really think it matters. I think the fact that it's a shared banner, you'll hopefully get enough copies of both of them to be usable. And when part two comes along, I've got a feeling that Donnie is going to be a hardcore support. And if Raph is our secondary DPS and he's got like a super strong C2 or something, we could be looking at some crazy ass combos with these units. I think we might be looking at if you've got all the turtles. I think that might be one team alone versus bosses that's just out of this world. But we'll see. We'll see. But thumbs up, all the turtles. Good job. Good collab so far. All looking well. Anyway, guys, catch you in the next one. Peace.